Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use the Blender Auto Setup plugin to transfer characters to Blender for high quality rendering. Let's jump right into it by looking first at how to transfer your character to Blender. Please check out our installation tutorial first if you're not familiar with the installation process. On the screen right now is a character with body and facial animation ready to be transferred over to Blender for rendering. The process is simple. Simply go up to Export Character to Blender from the Plugins menu and choose Selected Model with Motions to include the animation we have loaded in, and choose your animation range as well. Generally, you'll want to delete hidden faces as well to optimize your model. In Blender, use the N hotkey to bring up the Auto Setup panel, and in the CC slash Icon Pipeline tab, select Import Character. Thanks to the Auto Setup add-on, shaders and materials have already been assigned. If you select the body mesh and go into the data editor, you'll see the facial expression data has also been successfully transferred, as the CC character facial system is driven by blend shapes, as opposed to a facial rig. You can test out the various values here to see the corresponding effect on the face. If we select the body and switch to shading mode, we can see the character's material nodes and also that the wrinkle maps are all properly connected. These wrinkle maps allow for more detailed character facial expressions and add a great visual touch for realistic looking characters. You can see the different wrinkle maps become active when I utilize the blend shapes. Another great feature with Blender Auto Setup is the ability to quickly apply lighting presets. Our project currently has no lighting, but under Scene Tools, you'll find a number of templates to choose from. Simply clicking them will add a number of lights to your scene, along with a complementary backdrop. You'll also notice that there are two color management systems to choose from. Filmic provides a more cinematic color scheme, while AGX offers more realistic and accurate colors. There's also a drop-down menu that provides a number of more advanced color adjustment options, which are based on Blender's built-in features. You can also adjust lighting brightness and world brightness, which affects the HDRI image. There's also a color filter option you can use to manually adjust the lighting saturation. Just click filter after each selection to apply it. There's also a convenient camera button which will create a camera and a target. The target controls the direction of the camera's focus. You can use the zero hotkey to switch the camera view at any time and move the camera target to adjust its focus. You can then do a quick render from the menu to see the result. Under Character Build Settings, you'll see that the default material setup is for EV rendering. To switch to a Cycles environment, click on the Cycles Setup button under Scene Tools. This will rebuild all of the materials and switch the render engine to Cycles. Set up basic render settings and add a subdivision surface modifier to all meshes. We can then do another quick render to see the result in Cycles. Let's look at material adjustments next. If you select the mesh and expand the material parameters, there are a number of values here that you can adjust, relating to materials for the skin, teeth, eyes, hair, and more. You can go into significant detail on each mesh directly from the Auto Setup panel, which makes tweaking your character's appearance even easier. There are also dedicated parameters for the eyes and teeth as well as the hair. All of these parameters have corresponding values in Character Creator, so adjustment remains consistent between the two. Next, let's look at how to import new animations and poses. If we apply a new animation to our character in Character Creator, we can then export it as an FBX from the File menu. 
Be sure to set the target tool preset to Blender and the FBX option to Motion since we're only exporting the motion. In Blender, it's as easy as clicking the Import Animation button in the plugin. You'll find the animation you imported under Motion Sets. Just click Load to switch to it. You can also easily set up a Rigify controller for your character using Auto Setup. Simply click Rigify with your character selected, and under Viewport Display, select In Front so the controller is always displayed over the mesh. Enter into Pose Mode to give your character your desired pose, down to the individual finger joints. Rigify also provides facial controllers that can be used to create expressions. However, it's important to note that these are not part of a face rig, they simply drive the shape key expression data. Finally, let's look at how to send a pose or animation back to CC. Again, it's fairly simple. Just click the Export Motion button, and be sure the Include T-Pose is selected as well, as we'll need this when importing the animation later. Your FBX will be exported alongside a 3DX profile file. Simply drag the FBX to your character. You'll also want to load in the same FBX which contains the T-Pose, and uncheck Keep Root Motion. That's all there is to it. The Auto Setup add-on is an incredibly useful tool for the Relusion Blender pipeline that speeds up and optimizes your workflow. Be sure to also check out the data link tutorials for even more powerful features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.